Well, at least they're honest. So in this week's episode of Clay Trader Mail, we're just gonna take a look at uh, a correspondence I got through my website that, um, like I said, I'll give this person credit for being honest and not really beating around the bush or anything like that, but it really just kind of illustrates why the statistics are so high for why so many people fail at trading. Uh, because they come into it thinking they want to be, or thinking they want to do trading, but it's actually, they don't want to do trading at all. They want to do what my parents do and what you know the vast majority of people around the world do, and that's just be hands off and let somebody else do all the work. But because they're actually pressing buttons, then I guess they think they're a trader or something like that. Uh, but there's a lot of kind of, it, it's very ironic and very funny, I think, uh, you know, the, the uh, message we're about to go over. But there's some things we can pull out of it. So let's just hop right into this email that I got. Hi, I'm not actually interested in learning how to trade. That is taking the course, etc. What I'm interested in is receiving daily, real-time alerts to enter or close a position based on your charts. Wow. Again, props to this person. <laughs> Flat out saying, look, I don't wanna learn. I don't wanna learn how to trade, okay? I don't wanna have to put any time and effort. I just want alerts. And I want you to tell me when to open or close a position. In other words, please tell me when to buy and hold and sell. And this is just, why is this person even in the market? If that is their, their goal, if this is maybe you're watching this and that's your goal, maybe you're on the search right now to find somebody to tell you when to buy when to hold and when to sell, why are you even in the markets as a trader? Seriously, my parents, they are looking for somebody to tell them when to buy, when to hold, and when to sell. Except that's why they use a financial advisor. That's why they use somebody that's certified and all that sort of good stuff. Again, this person's mindset is, is the vast majority of people's mindsets. But the vast majority of people just go with a financial planner. If you want somebody else to tell you when to buy, when to sell, and when to hold, just go find a financial planner. Why are you searching the internet for you know, somebody to tell you how to do all this stuff when you can go find some reputable person? I'm sure somebody within your sphere of influence knows somebody that you know, is doing some financial planning. Go use them. Just because you're pressing the buttons because it doesn't make you a trader. That's just like, that's my parents saying, okay, Clay, you tell me what to do and we'll press the buttons. And then that's my par like my parents going to their friends and saying, yeah, I'm a trader now. No, you're just the middleman. You're just the puppet. Don't be a puppet. Again, there is absolutely no shame. If you're sitting here watching this saying, yeah, I don't wanna learn how to trade. I just don't have the time or I don't have the willpower, whatever it may be, that's fine. No problem at all. But don't sit there and say, well, because I don't wanna trade, that means I have to go find some service out there on the internet where somebody's gonna tell me when to buy, somebody's gonna tell me when to hold, and then somebody's gonna you know, wanna sell. Just don't do that. Go find a financial planner. So this person, uh, like I said, I commend them for being honest uh, and just flat out saying, I don't wanna learn how to trade, uh, but if this person's listening, then don't trade at all. Go hand that money over to, to a financial professional. Is the alert immediate? What I mean is, when you trade, am I alerted immediately? Also, what is your annual record of returns? Appreciate it. Now this person is asking me these questions because I do offer a chat room, but my chat room is very different than the others that advertise, hey, we'll tell you when to buy, we'll tell you when to sell. In my chat room, we just talk about stocks that are in play. But there's a big difference between in play and how to play them. You know, if, how, you know, when to buy, when to sell, that's telling somebody how to play them. That's not what we do in my chat room, my community. We're all about, hey, this stock is getting you know, some sort of setup. This stock is getting volume. And then it's up to that person to form a trade plan that fits their personal psychology around it. We all have different uh, tolerances of risk. We all have different mindsets. So that's why there's no one glove fits all trading strategy out there and why you know you got to just talk about stocks in play so to that person you know there is no alerts for me saying hey buy right now sell right now i will talk about setups i will alert setups but how you play the setup well that's up to you and as far as annual rates of return who really cares i can go put together a spreadsheet right now and i can say that i have you know 500 percent rates of return every year it's you know what is, again, going back to why are you searching the internet to find somebody to financially advise you? Because that's what this person's doing at the end of the day. They wanna be told exactly what to do. Go find somebody that's reputable. Go find somebody that's got you know, verifiable 
you know, data to back everything up. Because again, this is the internet. I don't know how many spreadsheets I've seen out there, and myself included. I could go and I could create a spreadsheet right now for this person and say, hey, look, I made 9,000% average year over year for the past 40 years, and I'm not 40 years old yet. So the point being, if you're out there looking for a financial advisor on the internet, especially from somebody on YouTube or something like this for trading, don't do it. Go out there, find a financial advisor. Now, if you do wanna become a trader and you have the mindset of, well, I still don't wanna learn, you're just gonna become one of those statistics of 90% of people that fail because you just have a terrible mindset. Trading is not mimicking somebody else. Trading is learning how to trade, learning how to form trade plans, and then going out there and doing that. So keep that in mind. Hopefully this offered some comedy, offered some insight. And again, I wanna finish with this because my parents fall into this camp. And a lot of people's parents, a lot of people fall into this camp. If you are out there saying, I don't wanna learn how to trade, I just need somebody to tell me what to buy or when to buy, when to sell, what to do. In fact, I'd like to just hand my money over to somebody. Hey, that's what 401ks are for. That's what IRAs are for. That's what you know, financial planners, financial advisors, whatever you wanna call them, that's what they're for. So get out there and utilize them if you are indeed you know, falling into that mindset. But don't trick yourself into saying, I'm a trader because I found some text alert service that's gonna send me stuff. That's a joke, that's a joke, that's a joke. Don't fall into that because it really makes no sense at all. So again, hopefully this is episode three now of Clay Trader Mail. Uh, the first two have been pretty popular, so that's good. If you want me to keep making these, click that like button, uh, leave a comment below. Maybe you have some experiences with um, you know, people like this that just don't wanna learn but also wanna be traders at the same time, which really doesn't make much sense. So you know, leave those in the comment section below. I really do read everything and I'll respond. Um, and suggestions, feedback, that stuff's always welcome too. And you can send me a, a message if you, maybe it'll get you know, featured on this segment. Uh, so if you have a question or just some sort of observation or who knows what, just let me know. And uh, you know, if it's something that I think can, uh, a lot of value can be pulled out of it, then we'll get it put on the show. So thanks for watching, get out there and trade without emotion.